a, a, it's 50 points between two of the teams. So um, it's getting close. They just love the competition. They love the competitive spirit of it all. Um, they love the uh, ability to show off. They, they, they enjoy the competition. They like to learn and uh, basically they uh, like to work hard and to, to show off their skills. Two words, hard work. They've been willing to put the hours in. I think the winning team is currently spending something like three hours a day plus, plus weekend time on, the, on, on, the, on their submissions. Um, but they've also been willing to do lessons learned. They've, they've spoken to senior managers about what sort of decisions they'd be making along the line. They've also spoken to previous successful teams and working with them uh, and understanding things that they could do. And they trialled a huge amount of data um, and they've managed to redefine their models along the way and as such they've, they've, they've been very successful. I think we've got seven teams in the top 12, three in the finals, one hopefully on the way to winning. Um, so yeah, I, th I think they've hit on a winning formula. So how's it going? <laughs> so far so good. <laughs> Well, it was interesting because clearly they are, they're all struggling with the unpredictability of the marketplace and uh, sometimes they're winning work when at very low prices, other times they're pricing up and they're winning it and they, and they lose it and so it's the unpredictability of the market and, and the and it's a real struggle because you can have, do you keep your business running by bidding low or do you accept that you're going to have to lay people off and lose some work um, and keep, you can at least avoid making losses or and I think the real test clearly seems to be the degree to which you can bid low but still recover the position and recover the position with better productivity or better procurement and, uh, and so forth. So they're in the real world and it's a complex one.
I'm confident that uh, the people like you, now becoming people who are going to replace people like me in the industry, then it's going to be a great future. So uh, well done and uh, very good luck in the future. Thank you. As an engineer, uh, we often learn technical skills in office and we often neglect something important such as the uh, management and the human side mm -hmm. of, of you know between people and how to connect with people mm -hmm. and uh, through this game I think uh, we have um, trained us well in doing that to connect with people. Uh, the merit game is more similar to the real life so we will not get to know all the details like how, how much other companies are bidding, we have to guess. Uh, it's more competitive, yeah, it's really very amazing. And uh, as a teamwork, uh, we learn teamwork, yeah, definitely. We couldn't do without the teamwork. We uh, s distributed our responsibility among our six team members and that helped us to complete our task in one hour especially. Yeah, without that you couldn't do it. And um, yeah, it's, it's a fantastic ex experience. It's uh, very interesting, it's addict addiction game. Once you get in, you will want to dive in more, more and more. So I definitely suggest other, other colleagues to participate next year. And it's fantastic and it definitely increase our ability of thinking, strategizing, teamwork. It's it's a beneficial in several ways. Uh, well, it was fantastic. It was a great learning curve for us, especially given that we all are graduates. Just joined. Uh, some of yours are like not even completed a year in the industry. So it was a very good learning experience. Uh, given that come to know about a lot of business operations and how multiple uh, disciplines, multiple uh, decisions affect the overall working of a company. Uh, that's really good to know such early in the career. It's Absolutely. been a great platform for all of us because uh, we've not been trained in management, we, we just have technical knowledge. So I think uh, this was a great platform to start with. And we also learned why people, as in what, why things are happening in a project, like if your project manager is getting some people from outside, like subcontractors or someone is coming, how the whole team works and how like they plan ahead by, for a year or two years and we could understand why that happens.